Welcome to the Horror Movie Showdown, episode 20. Today's movie is Norwegian, and I must admit that I know very little of Norwegian movies and series. I have pretty much only heard of Skam, watched The Wave and heard that Joachim Trier is a great director. And Joachim Trier is the director of today's movie, which is called Felma. And let's see if he lives up to his reputation. The movie starts out with a dad who goes hunting with his little girl. They see a deer, but for a short moment the dad considers shooting his own daughter instead. This immediately poses the question, why would you consider shooting your own daughter? We jump some years ahead and now Thelma is all grown up and has just started at a university far away from her religious parents. In some sense the movie is a coming of age movie where Thelma is struggling with her controlling parents, with finding new friends and with her sexuality. Also the movie is about the loss of innocence. The movie feels very grounded and realistic and it is great at making you sympathize with Thelma. The movie is very atmospheric and it has this feeling of hopelessness, especially when it is revealed that Thelma has been drugged as a child. You start suspecting that her parents are more than just a little bit religious. But for once I'm not going to completely spoil a movie, so I will let it be up to you to find out what is going on with the parents. Now let's jump to the scores. The movie has a total of three kills, of which one of them is especially creepy. The movie is more eerie than scary, so it gives a scariness score of 5. Just like disturbing behavior, the movie has a single scene with a topless girl, so it gives a nudity score of 4. And finally, I quite enjoyed the movie, as it combines two of my favorite genres, the horror genre and coming of age. So it gets a score of 7. Today's recommendation is Urban Legend, which is a slasher movie from the 90s. That just like Thelma takes place at a university and the movie is also quite beautifully filmed. Since this is the 20th episode of the series, I thought it was about time that I also showed you all the goriness scores I've been collecting for the movies. There's nothing like a great head explosion scene. Thank you for watching and I will catch you later.